Hi again, everybody. I'm Paul Palian, Superintendent of Marketing and Communications at the Bensonville Park District. And welcome to this December edition of Spotlight on Bensonville. Today, we'll be talking with Bensonville Park District Fitness Supervisor, Sylvia Acevedo. Welcome, Sylvia. Thank you so uh, much, Paul. And we'll be talking about your role with the Park District as well as Wood Street Fitness. So tell our audience a little bit about what your role with the district is and maybe programs offered by Wood Street Fitness. Of course. Uh, thank you for having me, Paul. Um, my name is Sylvia Acevedo, like you mentioned. I am the group fitness um, uh, instructor. Uh, it's been 10 years already since I've been teaching group fitness classes. And currently, I am the fitness supervisor at the Bensonville Park District. Um, uh, we have a lot of programs uh, for all ages right now at the Park District. I am proud to say that our programs have grew a lot since the past year. So we can offer uh, fitness classes from seated classes for seniors, uh, chair yoga class, for example, um, yoga for kids, um, uh, up to like adult fitness classes uh, who are uh, looking for a good challenge, a good workout. Um, so cycling classes, uh, we also have the fitness center uh, to work out at your own pace and equipment. Um, we offer a free running club for kids who are elementary school aged um, and so many options, you, which you can obviously see uh, if you go to the website. All our schedule is there. Right now we offer 27 fitness classes on the schedule. That's great. And that website is woodstreetfitness.com and to access the classes, uh, it's just slash classes. So, um, and, and the good thing about those classes too, they're meant to serve everybody, right? From kids up to uh, seniors, really. You've got uh, a, a great senior following there and apt adaptations, modifications are available uh, to do all those exercises, correct? Correct. Every single class can be uh, with adaptations, whether you want a chair class, but you want to increase on intensity, our fitness instructors will teach you how to do that. Or you can be a senior with, um, with uh, less mobility and try an evening more after class. And you can get also uh, modifications to tone it down. So we can show you how to tone it up or down. Either way, uh, you can try any class, basically. Excellent. Well, your appearance on the show is very timely. We get into the holiday season now. And if our audience at home is anything like me, uh, that's when you put on the pounds. And luckily, Wood Street Fitness has uh, some convenient and affordable options to help you keep the weight off or burn off the pounds you've added after the holidays. So what are some of the things that you can do to get through the holidays without putting on the pounds? Right. Absolutely. Uh, we actually just uh, started uh, that with our pre-Thanksgiving wobble before you gobble boot camp class that we offered the day before um, Thanksgiving. Uh, and that's how we started um, um, getting our community together to stay uh, in fit, stay active, motivated through the holidays. So there's many ways you can do. Um, one of them would be uh, plan ahead. You may want to plan ahead your workouts before the holidays get to you. So it's not unexpected, you know, happenings where you have to, you get invited to places, um, Maybe your work hours get longer and then couldn't fit that workout that day. Uh, so plan ahead as much as you can and just be aware that maybe a plan B might be necessary. So consider those plan Bs as well so you don't get frustrated, all right? So um, if you, whether you're traveling, you're staying home, there's many ways for you to stay on track. For example, you're traveling, well, you might want to check the hotel where you're staying. Maybe they have a fitness center. Maybe they have a pool. Uh, search for nearby walking, running, fitness trails. Uh, bring your own equipment and work out. Even if you're in a tiny room, you can still work out with or without equipment. Now, if you are, um, you may not want to bring your barbells on the airplane with you, but you can be, uh, bring maybe resistance bands. That's a good option. If you're staying home, well, you also have many options. You know, you can wear your running or walking shoes as much as, much as you can. Uh, so that way you won't miss any opportunities that might pop up in your day uh, to get a nice walk in between tasks. Uh, you can also, and right now, <laughs> uh, you can shovel snow. I know nobody wants to hear this, but if there's any snow, 
You can shovel the snow, you can rake leaves the old way. That is a great workout on, its, on itself as well. And at work, take the uh, stairs instead of the elevator too, Exactly. Right? Park as far as you can from the door, you know, where you're going up from work or the mall where you're entering. Um, so many ways. You can even do like a good deed, uh, raking uh, leaves, uh, shoveling snow for a neighbor. You know, it can turn into like something um, nice to also, you know, get you in the spirit of giving, of sharing. So that's a good idea. Um, another way to stay fit and healthy over the holidays is to set realistic expectations. You know, just um, don't try to like lose this many pounds over the holidays or like change your diet completely because most likely you won't be able to do it and you will be frustrated. So instead, just focus on maintenance rather on uh, the gains and just uh, set realistic goals, little goals, maybe 15 minute walking, um, little things that can easy, be easy to achieve so uh, you can enjoy the festivities without feeling overwhelmed or guilty. And the good thing about that is if you've been working out before the holidays, this kind of keeps you at the same level. So then when you come back after the holidays, it's not as big of a deal, right? Exactly. Yeah. Falling off the wagon for one or two days, it's way better than falling off the wagon for the entire holiday season. So if you miss your Monday workout, it's okay. Try again on Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, it's like the little goals are are um, very important over here so rather than setting big goals. Um, you can also keep your workouts uh, quick but consistent. You can set up your alarm clock 30 minutes before the usual time and get a 15 to 20 minute workout before you even go to work or you before you, you know, leave the house or start your activities. And that way you kind of earn your calories ahead of time and you won't be guilty later when you go out for dinner with friends or, you know, like uh, indulge yourself in, in holiday treats. Or just stay on daylight savings time, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you can just go back Use and, and you're done. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, one more way to um, stay fit and healthy over the holidays. Uh, this is the last uh, one that I want to share with you. Look for seasonal offerings. Um, at the holiday festivities don't have to impact your fitness goals or your budget. You know, uh, you can use them to your advance, advantage. Um, so look for seasonal promotions. As a matter of fact, uh, the Park District, Pensacola Park District, District has different promotions. Um, so look for uh, special packages, uh, couple packages. Sometimes it's cheaper to uh, get to the fitness center with a couple that on your own. Um, um, check for monthly or annual membership uh, fees. We just had um, a promotion for the fitness programs, either fitness center or fitness classes, where you buy an annual pass, you get um, the rest of 2022 for free. Oh, that's great. Well, maybe we can extend that. I know that was really ex uh, successful. Yeah, for check us the on, website because we might Black extend Friday. it. Check the website, you might find a nice surprise. Excellent, excellent. Uh, of course, the good news is even if you blow it over the holidays, you can still get back on track and exactly. being your best self in the next year. Uh, full schedule of uh, activities and classes are available online at woodstreetfitness.com. And of course, in the Park District uh, Winter Spring Program Guide, which is in households now and uh, online. And re registration is already underway for winter spring programs. You can do that at the uh, Deer Grove Leisure Center. Uh, that's 1000 West Wood Street in Bensonville or by calling 766-7015. That's area code 630. Thank you, Sylvia, for joining us and for all you do uh, for the Park District. Anything else that you'd like to add? Oh no, we're just very excited uh, to see you more, uh, see and help more people achieve their fitness goals. Over at the Bensonville Park District, we are ready. We have a great team of instructors uh, to help you achieve your New Year's fitness goals and the little goals and then to turn those into bigger goals. Wonderful. Well, we look forward to working out uh, over at the fitness center. I know I got to start using that track here again. And, it's free. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's free and uh, what a great asset to have in the community. Of course, there's uh, many other Bensonville Park District programs and activities for those of all ages to enjoy. Here's a few of those December programs, activities, and events. 
First of all, parents of preschoolers through eighth grade can sign their kids up now for the Park District's Clubhouse Winter Escape Days Off School program. It takes place during their children's winter break. You can sign up at the Deer Grove Leisure Center. Make your plans to celebrate the holidays with some Victorian era cheer at Farmside Christmas, 2 to 5 p.m. Sunday, December 4th at Fisher Farm. Enjoy the crafts, carolers, ice sculptures, reindeer and horse-drawn carriage rides, and even get your photo taken with Santa. Don't miss the tree lighting at 4.30. It's just $10 for children age 3 to 15. All others are free. And bring the joys of the season to your residence. Sign up for Santa Claus's Coming to Town to reserve a personal visit by Santa and his mobile workshop December 5th through the 9th. It's just $10 a child, $35 for the whole family. You can register at the DGLC. Dates and times are determined by Park District staff and assigned a week in advance. Another way to experience some holiday magic is to drop off letters to Santa at the North Pole mailbox located in the Deer Grove Leisure Center lobby between December 1st and the 15th. Each child will receive a return letter from Santa Claus later that month. Be sure to put a return address on there. And space is filling fast for the White Pines Breakfast with Santa, which runs from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, December 17th and 18th. You can enjoy a holiday breakfast holiday crafts and activities, and get your photo taken with the big man. The cost is just $25 for adults, $15 for those aged 3 to 17, and for those 2 and under, well, they're free. You can sign up now by calling 630-766-0304, extension 2. And uh, one more activity that's new this year, you don't want to miss the Park District's Christmas Cookie Bake Off. That's Monday, December 19th in the Oak Room of the Deer Grove Leisure Center. Call ahead to hold your spot in the competition, 630-766-7015. The entry fee is just $5, $8 for non-residents. You must be 21 or older to enter. And finally, again, back to Wood Street Fitness, offering three fitness programs for kids in December. Kids Yoga, Mondays after school, the 100 Miles Running Squad, free for elementary school kids uh, Tuesday afternoons, and of course, Zoom Kids on Friday afternoons at 4.15. You can register in advance at the DGLC. You would mentioned those before, Sylvia, so thank you very Correct. much for keeping us in the know about that. That's all the time we have today. Thank you again, Sylvia, and to Anthony and Chad with the Bensonville Multimedia Communications Office for their work in making us look good. For more information about Park District programs and activities, you can visit BevilleParks.org. I'm Paul Palian, thanking you so very much for being with us. Till next time, happy holidays and so long, everybody.